Um, do we have any questions? This question is for both of you, and that is, what do you see as the role of the um, VPF outside of JSE and J JFC in terms of directing and educating students of other financial opportunities around campus, um, and um, how do you see sort of making that an easier process for students? Um, I'm thinking specifically of um, the GSA special allocations, Senate special allocations, I know SDC has money. Mm -hmm. Um, and then other other sort of pockets you might be aware of. Okay, um, so I guess I'll start yeah, first. Yeah, you can go. Um, so thank you, Carolyn, for your question. Um, she's the head of GSA, for those of you who don't know. Um, so this, you know, again, is an education issue. Every Well, in the last year in JFC, we've seen organizations put student senate as a line item in their budget, which is not kosher by any means. And, you know, some of the graduate organizations, instead of student senate, they put GSA. This is not right because all this, the student senate pool, the G GSA pool, and the JFC pool of money all come from the student activities allotment. And I would really like to work with the student uh, body vice president of organizations, and um, if he or she is not willing, then you know we can do it ourselves. But I, uh, given Aaron's platform, uh, he seems willing. So uh, I'd really like to work with them to educate organizations and the student body in general um, about you know why these funding sources are there and what they're used for. Um, for example, uh, I've been on Senate for the last two years, and this year it's really come around in Senate that. The Senate pool of money is really for special allocations, and that events and things that Senate funds should be within the spirit of special allocations. You know, things that JFC did not foresee, I guess, um, in a certain organization's budget. Um, and GSA's money should, re you know, really be going towards helping graduate students. Um, so I, I think this is really an education issue, and I'd like to work with, um, again, the Vice President of Organizations to put out, you know, flyers, posters, brochures, any way we can really reach out to organizations, kind of educate them on how best to itemize their budgets and how to get the make the most out of the entire pool of money. I definitely think that the student body should be informed about those different places where you can find funding, but I also think that they shouldn't depend too heavily on those those different sources because I know Student Senate also has the same problem where a lot of organizations are coming to them for the same things. And I also want to, I feel that organizations should also look for other sources, like I said, with searching for grants. I understand that those, those resources are available to them, but I feel like organizations should still take a more effective role in financing their events rather than just coming to a student senate um, student senate meeting and making a proposal. And I feel like those can be done by having presentations and open question and answer forums to help educate those student body members about other resources. Okay, thank you. Could um, both of you guys tell me a little bit about what you think of executive pay for student government execs? Okay, okay. Um, so Oh, I'll go. I mean, okay. Yeah. Um, I read the article that Nara and Timmy actually addressed this question. I personally don't feel that I am, I don't personally feel that I need an executive pay, but I understand where they came from, being that the commitment that they put into their positions did take away from their ability to have their jobs outside of the student government. But I feel like this should be brought to the student body because they should have a say whether they feel that the people that are representing them should receive a pay for what they're doing. Because it, initially, most of us go into this, um, go into these, try for these positions because we want to do it, not because we want to get a paycheck out of it. So that's just my opinion on it. Um, so I was actually interviewed for the Tartan article because of my position um, in student senate. and. Well, basically what I, well, let me frame this for people who don't know that much about this. So the money for the executive pay could either come from a donor, which would probably be an alumnus who has some vested interest in seeing student government expand and grow, or the student activities fee. Um, I believe that if this money were to come from a donor, then there's no real need to ask the students, you know, do you think your student government executive should be paid? Because it's, the money is not coming from them. 
Um, if the money were to come from the student activities fee, however, I would like to pass a binding referendum um, to pass um, or not pass the executive pay because then the money is really coming from the students. You know, it's really coming from the student activities fee. So, and the students should have a say because that's, they paid for that. Uh, they paid money towards that. And personally, I'm not against the executive pay. Um, but it really, again, depends on where the source comes from, and if the source uh, is the student activities fee, then students should know about it. Thank you. So both of you mentioned that you one of your main platform points is to make the funding process more efficient, but neither of you really went um, concretely into how you plan to do this, so what are some of your specific ideas for this issue? Okay. Um. Okay, so um, I, I didn't get to this earlier, um, but part of creating uh, the, my, the fourth point of my the four, fourth point of my platform um, was creating a stronger JFC, and part of this would to bring Dave Revolo, our current senior accounts manager, into the JFC um, because one of the issues we've had in the last year is that you know there are some smaller organizations. Um, take for example the Romanian Students Organization. They send out emails in Romanian. No one on the JFC can read Romanian, and not many of us know who they are. But Dave Rivolo, you know, he, he's been around for seven, eight years now, and I believe five years as the senior accounts manager. And he really has the institutional history that we'd all like to have. Um, I'd really like to bring him in um, to sit down with each JFC representative and the JFC as a whole to educate us on, you know, what this organization looked like financially for the last few years. Um, this would increase um, the efficiency of the JFC um, because then the entire JFC board would then know more about each organization and this would speed up um, <clears throat> this would speed up the process as a whole. Uh, I'd also like to maybe spend more time in the fall um, hopefully uh, you know if I I'm elected and do get an assistant next year, we will be able to ratify the JFC slate earlier um, than this year. So uh, we'll be able to spend more time, you know, maybe training the JFC representatives um, what a good presentation of your organizations look like, um, what kind of things you should touch on, what kind of things you should talk to them about. I mean, NARA has done some of this, um, a lot of it, and very well this year, um, but obviously that's somewhere we can expand um, so the JFC representatives can know the entire process better. Um, because you know, I was new this year, and um, luckily I had some background in student government, so I knew. But there are, you know, some people, and especially like I guess the freshman who was on JFC, didn't, might not have known. And I guess he did reach out to Nara. But if we made this more explicit for each JFC representative, um, then we'd be all be on the same page, and to make it, um, and that would make the process more efficient. Okay. A few things that I think could make the process more efficient would definitely be increasing the number of JFC reps. This way they can have the time to go to their group's events and be able to be more, um, have more knowledge on their groups. I also think that JFC should work with COSO to have a greater background and a stronger background in the beginning of the semester, in the fall semester, of what these organizations do and the type of events they put on as well as making the JFC reps have more access to the financial history of their groups. Thank you. Any more questions? Okay. Last call for questions. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, Eric and Chanel, and thank you all for coming out. I'd like to thank CMU TV, AB Tech, um, for helping us put this show together, and the Elections Board as well. So um, voting opens this Saturday and goes through Tuesday, so make sure you get your voice heard. And I think there are polling booths on campus as well, so you can go there and vote as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.